Good morning, everybody. I'm at the Flying J in Southeast Calgary, and I'm about to head up to McMahon Stadium, the Big Rig Expo. Today's the big day. I'm not too sure what to expect, but I'm excited. Old Blue actually won't be in the show and shine. I'll be parking nearby, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're here. We're set up in booth 502 right there. It's a smaller event than I was expecting. It's just the parking lot outside the stadium. I thought that it was going to be the entire stadium, but that's okay. A couple of nice trucks here. This is a new 589. Look at this thing. You know how long it would take to clean this? I know. Air yeah, ride front suspension. See, that's what I want to put on my truck. That is one of my next projects for my truck. You can lower the front end. And this is the 589 with the new sloped windshield. Let me know what you think of these new 589s in the comment section. Be nice. This is a very nice truck. Very nice truck. I know the 589s uh, have mixed opinions on them, but you gotta say for a 589 though, this truck is beautiful. You got this purple beast right beside it. He's even got the transformer rim caps in there. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. That's pretty cool. Oh. Clean, look at that. Now, are those stacks clean because they're new? Or is there a hidden exhaust underneath here? No, those pipes are real. Yeah, those pipes are real. Yep, they're connected. Nice. Some of these new trucks, they uh, have fake stacks, right? Not this one. But the downside with that, you need somebody that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I got a special treat for you guys. Check this out. Oh, oh. yes. Old school. Looks like I gotta get underneath this uh, bar here. Hold on. Oh. I gotta give you the whole. I don't wanna back myself into traffic here, but. Look at that. You don't see these very often anymore. What year do you think this truck is? Let me know down below. Take your best guess. I'm gonna go ask the owner right away. You know what, I love these old cab overs. I think maybe one day, one day if I have the opportunity, I might just buy one and restore it. I'd love to have one of these. Think. What do you think? What year is this truck? I just talked to the owner. 1987. 1987, like back when trucking was real. You know what I mean? Like that's a real truck. All right, so we're gonna go for a little walk around here and show you what's all here.
got the cops here. Uh-oh. So to tell you guys the truth, I honestly thought that we would be inside the stadium. That's that's what I was under the impression of. We're just outside here. Outside the stadium, so that's okay. That doesn't matter at all. Bit of a smaller event than we had uh, expected. So it's got three rows. This is the first row here. We got the stage over there. You can hear them talking over there. Not sure what they're saying right now. But uh, we go down here through the hall. There's the one aisle, the second aisle, and then we're on the third one in the back. Back to flatbeds, where we belong. So the show is over, and I think for us it was a good success. We met a lot of you guys there and a lot of drivers that came by uh, to check us out. Fantastic, that's why we were there, right? The event itself was uh, something else, not what we were expecting really, not what I was expecting anyways, I'll speak for myself. Um, I was in, uh, I'm in Calgary, Alberta. For anyone from around the world, or especially America, Calgary is sort of like the Nashville of Canada. The Texas of Canada. This is where cowboys and rodeos are from in Canada. This is where Canadian country music finds its home in Canada. I was expecting to have uh, a country experience. I'm a big country music fan. Obviously, I love 90s country, so I was really excited to hear some nice country music. That wasn't what was there. It was uh, it was interesting, and it wasn't really what I was expecting in Alberta, in Calgary. And thank you for all of you who came and met us there. I'd like to name you all, but. Uh, there's quite a few of you who came by through the day. That was pretty impressive. There's a lot of you living out here, so uh, it was great to shake your hand. It was great to meet you and chat with you all for a bit. Thanks for coming out. So this load was already picked up by me, loaded and tied down earlier this week. And we picked this up in Edmonton, if you remember. And I gotta bring this to western, southwestern Manitoba. So we'll be leaving tomorrow. I'm gonna wait for my logbook to be reset. Could've left now, right? But. I'm gonna wait uh, at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, my logbooks are reset, so that'll give me a full 70 hours for the next week. I wasn't able to get home this weekend anyway, so I talked to my wife about it. I was thinking maybe if I left tonight, maybe I'd be able to swing in for a couple of hours, but it's not guaranteed. It wouldn't be for sure. Uh, so we decided, you know what, well, let's just reset my logbook here. And that way I'm all prepared and all ready for next week. It's interesting the way they set it up from here, right? Almost looks like it's leaning. <laughs> yes, I nosed into my spot. What you gonna do about it? In the morning, up carefully, back straight up, down this driveway here. There's gonna be nobody parked behind me. All right, and then when I'm done, I can just whoop, scooch out the exit right there. I don't have to back up very far. I don't always nose into spots, but when I do, there's a good reason for it. It'll be a quiet night. And I checked first. That trailer beside me doesn't stink. I was worried about that at first. I was like, how ripe is that thing gonna be? Turns out it's it's dirty, but it's all dried out and it doesn't stink, so I can have my screens in my windows tonight and not feel like I'm sleeping in a barn. I know, I know, that smell to farmers smells like money. Well, I'm a truck driver. To me, the smell of diesel exhaust and diesel fuel smells like money. So, we have the same thing. We, we, we both think that odd things smell like money. Uh, they're just different things. And to me, the smell of manure does not smell like money. Though I respect you guys. I'm glad you guys do what you do because I really like to eat. Please keep doing it. Another thing about the show today was I was expecting it to be a lot bigger. Uh, I thought that it was going to be the whole stadium. And it was just out in the parking lot, which was fine. A little bit more personal that way, a little bit smaller. And uh, I thought that there was going to be a huge show and shine of trucks. That's that's why I, I didn't bring Old Blue. Uh, she wasn't clean. And in Calgary right now, you can't get a vehicle wash because they have a water shortage. One of their main water lines into town broke. 
So 60% of the city's water got cut off. So everybody's on big water restrictions right now. And car and truck washes have been turned off for the time being for at least the next like three to five weeks, I think. So I couldn't get a truck wash and I wasn't gonna spend all day wiping it down by hand, giving her a sponge bath. And honestly, I thought that there would be a ton of trucks in the show and shine. And my truck's a working truck, right? You can see it back there, it's a working truck. It's not really a show truck. So I didn't want to park between two beautiful show trucks who have never seen the highway, right? It doesn't look as good that way. I mean, it's a working truck. I, I want to be in a working truck class, you know, where I belong. So I figured, yeah, well, whatever, you know, I'll just go there and join them for the show or for the expo and I won't bring my truck. Turns out I probably could have brought my truck. There was only two trucks there for the show and shine, maybe three. There was one there that was there half the day. Uh, that was pretty shined up, it was really nice. I, I showed them all to you there. There's the, oh, plus there was that cab over, so that's four. Well, you saw them there. All the trucks that I showed you, that was all the trucks that were there. So I was expecting there to be a huge show and shine, kind of like a mini mats type deal. Uh, and uh, it was a little smaller than I expected. But hey, it was nice to meet you guys, though. I'm glad you guys came out, and uh, that really made my day. So that made it worth it. I just want to share this with you. Like, right outside the truck stop here, we're right beside a Honda dealership, right? Look at this, how they have, like, all of their cars undercover like that. Isn't that interesting? Huh, I've never seen that at a car dealership before, have you? That's cool. It's actually smart. That way you don't always have to constantly clean them all the time. You keep them out of the sun, the paint doesn't fade that way. And in wintertime, you don't always have to wipe the snow off of them. It's actually brilliant. It's very smart. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. We, it, was, it was a great day to be outside. A lot of sunshine and that made it great. So tomorrow, we're taking this load, we're headed back east to the famous, the world famous, the most envied place around the world of everyone. Everybody wants to be there. We're going back to the great, the wonderful, the majestic. Manitoba. I couldn't say it with a straight face. Manitoba. I'll probably be back in Manitoba tomorrow. I'm guessing I can only leave at like 11 a.m. Was it 11 a.m. local time or was it 11 a.m. central time? Because my e-logs are in central time. That's my home my home base. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, that was... That was 11 a.m. 11 p.m. Central Time. Oh, oh. So I could only... Yeah, Central Time. I'm so confused with all the time change and everything. Okay, yeah, 11 a.m. Central Time we can leave from here. Which would be... 11 a.m. there would be 10 a.m. here. Oh, hey! I could leave an hour earlier than I thought. This is actually going better. This is the opposite way. I thought I'd be leaving an hour later. No, that's to see the time change. This is such a big, massive country with so many time zones. It's, it's hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, we, we're going that way. So when it's 11 a.m. back home, when I'm reset, reset, when I am reset, when I am resetted, when I have reset, when I'm ready to go, it'll be 10 a.m. here. Okay, that's not so bad. So bad, I'll sleep in a little bit, get a good night's sleep, grab a coffee, maybe we'll wipe down our aluminum on our truck, get it nice and shiny for the prairies, and then we'll begin our journey that way. I'm pointing this way, because that way's, that way's east, I think. So I'll see you tomorrow, right? Right here on my channel, if you're new, don't forget to go down below and subscribe. So many people, they do that. They watch the video, and then they click the next one before going down below. It takes one second, please. Please, I beg you. Once I go down below, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell so you know when my next video goes live tomorrow. If you really like the channel, you really like the videos, you want to support us and go one step further, click the join now button for the price of a cup of coffee. You get early access to all the videos. And uh, you can be the first ones to watch them. It can be up to a week early, depending on when I get them uploaded. But we'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Drive safe out there. Be safe. Later.